The discussion of truly elite American tennis players begins with Andy Roddick. Roddick is ranked fifth overall in the world, the only American in the top ten. In fact, this is the first U.S. Open since rankings began in 1973, where there was only one American ranked in the top 20. After Roddick, there are a few players. Uh, you have a guy like James Blake, who's ranked 21st in the world, but has struggled through injuries this season. You have guys like Sam Querrey and John Isner, a, a doubles team that will compete on court 10 over there later today, but are also rising singles players, you know, on the rise, but not necessarily at the point where they can win major championships. Below them, you have a host of younger players who have not yet developed, uh, guys like Devin Britton, who was a sacrificial lamb to Roger Federer in the first round, or guys like Chase Buchanan, who lost yesterday to Joe Wilfred Sanga. John Isner plays later today in the second round ma match. It's actually an intriguing matchup. He plays Marcel Ilhan from Turkey, who's the first Turkish player to compete in the Grand Slam. He also is the first Turkish player, obviously, to win a Grand Slam match. Uh, Sam Querrey plays Kevin Kim, and uh, Blake is also in the second round as well. Patrick McEnroe has taken over the play player development program for the U United States Tennis Association. I, I talked to McEnroe yesterday, and he's only been doing it for about a year and a half. When I talked to McEnroe, what he said is that the real development for the USTA is going to come from players who are now 9, 10, 11 years old, and when they reach this level, because of the new training, faci training uh, procedures they have in place, they'll be better off. So you, you could be looking at 9, 10 years down the road before you see a, a, a real group of Americans here at the U.S. Open competing against each other for the championship.